Hey, hi there, Aries. Welcome to my channel. I'd like to thank you for tuning in to those energies and influences that are coming through for your weekend reading, July 19th through the 21st of 2019. This is a predictive, condensed general reading. Please only take those portions that resonate with you. I invite you to subscribe, like, and comment. It really helps me out a lot, and it helps to bring your vibration into those future readings. Please remember to check out that description box below. There is a free birth chart calculator at the bottom. Thanks, you guys. And after the reading is a take note moment. Okay, Aries, off camera, I've done a protective blessing. I've shuffled and meditated over these cards just for you. Your first card, it's the general atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the matter. Number 10 of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck, the Wheel of Fortune. This is a turnaround, might have been a turnaround after a bad time because you have the tower as the underlying issue here. The Wheel of Fortune is uh, represented by the four elements, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius, and Taurus. They're the fixed signs. They're the guides to the next phase. This has to do with destiny and karma. It's fate. This card is ruled by Jupiter. It's success and an unexpected turn of luck and a change of fortune for the better. Now a new chapter starting has to do with your destiny. As the wheel turns, life changes and things never stay the same. And events are going to turn around in some fashion. And this situation is going to change on its own accord. It is now beyond your control. This is something that's been put in, over into motion and now you have little or no control. It generally in favorable outcome. This is going to promote your growth and advancement, and it's a reminder that every period of intense activity must be followed by a fallow time of rest and inactivity. This can be an unexpected stroke of luck, a turning point, and you will not remain stuck. A new chapter is starting. Could be a decision of importance. Second card. And this is the energy that's crossing over your path. The Nine of Pentacles, Aries. This is Earth energy. This card represents spending some alone time with the stuff that you like, things that you like to do, things that you want to do, the place that you want to be. This is self-reliance and self-sufficiency. It's independence from financial concerns. It's accomplishing your goals. You're going to feel abundance around you. This is enjoying a secure base and material well-being. This has to do with well-controlled thought and discipline. It's solitary enjoyment of the good life, love of gardens and home. It's earned rewards and fruits of labor. This is someone that's tamed their impulses, just like the bird that they tamed on their arm. It may be a time to act with such discipline, and you will accomplish much by taming your instincts. This can also be a time of self-reliance, for taking charge of your own future, or you may be craving more independence. Or you may have already accomplished much and now it's time to indulge and pamper yourself. Sometimes you might give off the impression you do not need anyone else. It's just that you're someone who's able to enjoy the good things in life even though alone. It does not mean you're devoid of relationships. It just says you're at peace within, and therefore you do not need constant companionship to feel contented. This is living an ordered life, and understanding that life is exactly the way you made it. Your third card, and this is how it affects you. It's your attitude. The Ten of Wands, Aries. This is fire energy. Feeling overloaded. Feel like you have a lot of responsibilities. You might feel like you have to bear up. You feel burdened. Responsibility may be wearing you down. There may be something you cannot let go of. But your problem is soon to be solved. This has to do with beginnings and endings. These are ambitious burdens and a heart tried by pain. It's fortune and gain and any kind of success, and it's the oppression of these things. You might be feeling resentful, or maybe it's too much of a good thing. But you do feel like you can do anything at this time, even an extremely difficult task. Or you could be feeling like you have taken on burdens that don't really belong to you. 
like the whole world is on your shoulders. But it's up to you to decide whether to continue carrying these heavy responsibilities you've undertaken, or maybe other people are shirking their part and they should help out. So make sure others are doing their fair share, and ask for help if you need it, and don't let pride stand in the way. Extreme as it is, this card's advice may speak of the importance of persisting in your goals, despite great burdens. As many fueled runners and bodybuilders can attest, sometimes you have to go for the burn. You might be feeling weary and determined and overworked. You could be doing things like shouldering burdens or taking on too many responsibilities. Testing your limits, you could be toughing it out. Keep going. You've come too far to let things drop. And if you don't ask for help, then it's up to you to carry the load. And now your fourth card. It's the position of the future. It's the outcome, the results, and the advice. The Five of Swords, Aries. This is an air energy card. This could be adversity. It's changes and adjustments to these changes. Someone may be arguing. You might have some misunderstandings or having to defend yourself. Sometimes it's better just to avoid negative people and drama and choose your battles and try not to overreact. There's friction and adversity. This is advice not to judge before you know everything. It would be a high cost of victory. It would be bitter. This is someone that's captured the swords of his adversaries who depart in dejection. There's storm clouds and wind. You may, the con you may be the conqueror or the conquered. This can be advice to avoid a battle that cannot be won. A battle of wills, its limitation and also power. This can be a difficult card showing defeat and weakness and humiliation. Could be an attack on you. Could be unfairness involved and slander and gossip. Maybe some cruelty or cowardliness. Go slow or you will deprave yourself from benefit. You would actually pay more than you actually get. Fives are about adjustment. This is uncomfortable but a necessary change in adjustment. Or you may be blinded by a situation, so wait to judge. You just do not have enough information. And now your fifth card. It's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue. This is what's unseen. Number 16 of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck. The Tower. This can be a Scorpio or you, Aries. This card is ruled by Mars. This is a dramatic change. It could be something unexpected, a sudden shock. Could be even unexpected expenses. This is a rapid transformation with a revelation. You'll need to rebuild and refocus. Things are totally different. You may be questioning beliefs. You'll need to rebuild a foundation that is strong. You can find some spiritual opportunity within a drama. It could be a surprise. This is releasing pent-up emotions, which will help you feel liberated. You might need to shake things up. There's something that you need to let crumble and let the light in. It's action and release and swift and dramatic change. This is a, sometimes it can be extremely upsetting. But sometimes people bring these situations on themselves by ignoring or denying that something needs to be restructuring or deconstructing. You may have been well aware of a need to make some changes, but you just did not take any action. And then something happens that forces us to face up to reality. Whatever the disruption or adversity, it is for the best. These could be ambitious goals made with false promises. It's a massive change. Your soul is going to evolve from this. This is that turnaround after a bad time with the Wheel of Fortune there. Okay, we got a new deck out. We voted on this, and what won was Trust Your Vibes. 
It's an oracle card deck. It says it's a powerful tool for awakening your sixth sense. And it's by Sonia Coquette. And Aries, you've got Call on Your Joy Guides. It's number 16. Aries, Call on Your Joy Guides. Your situation at this moment may feel critical, but don't allow it to become too serious or you'll lose your way. Remember, on a soul level, this too shall pass, and it will pass much easier with the help of your joy guides to lighten your mood and elevate your vibration so you can move on to better times. Learn to recognize when your joy guides are on the scene. They like to play games and sometimes practical jokes with you to keep your, you from taking things too personally. They're good at getting your attention with their antics. They may hide your keys or move your things and steal one of your socks out of the dryer. Are the joy guides capturing your attention? Where or how are they getting you to relax a little and laugh at yourself? Well, maybe you should let them. Okay, Aries, here's your take note moment. Begin to sow seeds, those thoughts, you know, of goodwill and happiness, peace and prosperity. Accept these thoughts fully into your conscious reasoning mind. Our subconscious mind is the soil that we grow our seeds in, good or bad. Pay attention to the thoughts you're attending to. Every thought is, therefore, a cause, and every condition is an effect. It is essential that we take charge and control of our thoughts, so we only bring about the desired outcome. Aries, more next time, so please stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.